Okay, hello guys. Um, if you've been following my YouTube channel, you'll notice that I'm making uh, a zombie a zombie game for uh, a college project. Um, and a couple of my classmates have suggested that I create uh, a series of tutorials for some of the things that I've managed to 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 achieve in my game. Uh, and that's what I'm going to do. And the first tutorial I'll be doing is loading screens within Unreal Engine 4. Now, to give you a quick example of this, I've loaded up the first person template here, and I've added my own portal here. And what essentially is going to happen is when I enter the portal, a loading screen will appear, and it will load the level again, and I'll appear over there. So let's just give that a quick go, just to show you what I mean. The loading screen is very quick because the load the level is small, so it'll be on and off the screen, but you'll, you'll you can see it. So let's go through here. And you saw the loading screen there, and we're back at the start. So I'm going to take you through step by step just how I achieved this. The first thing I'm going to do is remove this so we can start building it from scratch. Uh, I'm actually going to leave that in there. I'm just going to delete the portal box and its respective blueprint. Uh, portal box there. I'm going to delete the materials. I'm going to remove the variable from my character and everything inside my hood. Okay, so just to show that everything's gone there and we're back at the beginning, you can see that it now does absolutely nothing. Um, I'll quickly take you through how I got this. So this is essentially just a BSP volume. Actually, let's, let's make this from scratch as well, just to be thorough. So if we head into props, if you have the starter content loaded, you'll notice that you can spawn a door frame. So we'll spawn one there. I'm now going to add a box BSP up here to the level. And I'm going to squash it down so it's absolutely flat and so that it fits into the door frame. Just scale it up a little. This is purely for effect and has absolutely zero effect on the functionality of the portal. This is just to make it look interesting. So I'm just going to quickly texture this with the material um, and I'm going to use the... let's try this. That looks horrible. Let's go with this again. Okay, so this is our portal. So what we essentially want this to do is when we walk into it, we want it to trigger a loading screen and one, well, whilst the loading screen is on the screen, it's going to load the new level. So, the first thing we're going to do is head into Blueprints and into My Character. We don't need to touch any of this. In fact, we're not even going to do anything with these nodes and Blueprints. We're just simply going to add a variable. And we're going to name this variable Loading. This variable should be, uh, should be false by default by leaving this box unticked. Now, an important thing to make sure that you do is make this, this variable public by clicking on this icon here. You'll see that the closed eye turns into an eye. Once you've done this, compile and close this blueprint. Now, we're, we're going to make the box trigger that detects whether we're standing in it or not. We're going to do this by right-clicking, making a blueprint, and it's an actor. So we're going to select actor we're going to call this portal box. When you open portal box, you'll be on the components tab. We only need a single component for this, a box component. Now, head over to the graph. We want to add an event begin event actor begin overlap. And from here, we're going to cast to my character. Don't forget to connect these two blue nodes. From here, we're going to set loading. Now you will notice that this doesn't actually appear. Untick the context sensitive box and you'll see that from the class, my character, we can set the variable loading. Again, link these two together and we're going to tick loading. Now, to talk through what this does, when we enter this box here, the event actor will, will tell that our character has entered the box and it will tell it to set the variable loading to true. The variable loading is stored on my character. 
This is all that we will need to do for Portal Box. Compile and close this blueprint. Now, for the bulk of the work, we will need to do this within my HUD. The first thing we need is an event receive draw HUD. It would help if I could spell receive. <laughs> uh, event receive draw HUD. Let's zoom in on that. There we go. Now from this, we need to um, we need to make vector 2D. And we're going to link the screen X to X and the screen Y to Y. Just space this out a bit so you can see this. Now from the action of event receive draw hood, wait a minute, just a second, we need to promote this this uh, return value to a variable. So drag this off, promote to variable, and we're going to name this screen dimensions. Even though I already have one of those called, so I'll delete that. Let's just do that again, just for your benefit. So promote to variable, screen dimensions. So we've set that name to screen dimensions. And from the action, we're going to go over here. Now to break this down a little, what this does is this sets screen dimensions to the size of the playing window. Now from here, we want to cast to my character. Now, it is important that they be connect this to something. So we're going to drag this off and uh, get player character, like so. Now, from the uh, cast of from the dynamic cast of this, we're now going to move over to a, a branch. A branch is essentially an if statement. Now, the condition we're going to use for the branch is we're going to get loading. So now we're calling the value of the character's loading variable. If it is true, we want to do something. The something that we want to do is draw material simple. Now, remember the screen dimensions we created earlier? Drag them off from the variables and get them. We're then going to, this is a vector 2D. We're then going to break this vector 2D, like so. We're not interested in the screen X and the screen Y. We're interested in the screen width and the screen height. Connect X to the screen width and Y to the screen height. Now we need a material for our loading screen. We're going to compile this and close this for the time being. You can either make your own or download a royalty free one off the internet. This one isn't royalty free, but I'm going to use it for the purposes of this uh, educational video. I'm going to save this image that will eventually become my loading screen. Just just by Googling a loading screen, I'm going to find it in this folder and I'm going to move it into my project. Give it a second, it will hang for a second and then it won't hang for a second. My bad. Wait until you've got the icon, there we go. Now. It will. It may, may say this, it may not. Just hit yes and proceed. Now, from the image we've just imported, we need to create a material. So right click on it and select to create material. We're going to name this loading screen material. Once you've created that, open it up and connect this node here to emissive color. Save it. Wait for it to save and then close the material. Now, jump back into the My Home Blueprint. This, we're now going to select the material we just created as the loading screen. So, loading screen material. Again, let's break this down a little. So we know that here, we set the dimensions of the size to the, to the playing window size. Here, we are uh, checking, checking the uh, state of the my character loading boolean and here if the boolean state is true we are drawing a material to the screen now 
the last step to this is to open the level you want to load. And this is simply done by typing open level. Now it's going to ask for a level name and what you're going to need to do is head over to your maps folder and find the exact name of the level you want to load. In this case it's example underscore map. So compile all of this, hit play and fingers crossed when we walk into it. Actually we did something wrong there. Well I did something wrong. Within our blueprints the portal box, we needed to add the trigger to the world. So simply drag this in, stretch it so it fits. So this portal is actually accessible from both sides. And now when we enter that box, it should display our loading screen and put us back at the start. You can use this to transfer between levels, you don't have to have the same level. Uh, I'll quickly demonstrate that. So if I head into maps and create a new level called 1, head back into the blueprints for my HUD and change the name here to 1, compile and play again, it's going to send me now to that world as opposed to being in this world. So you can see uh, an extended version of the loading screen here. It's not actually going to come off the loading screen because within the world one there is nowhere for me to load and thus it will just stay on this forever. But you can see how that now takes me away from the world I was already in. So that's been a, the first tutorial in a series of tutorials I probably do. Um, I'd like to cover AI, um, I'd like to cover post-processing effects, things that I couldn't quite easily find on my own. I'd like to put videos up so that they're out there. Um, so if you're interested, if this helps you out, give it a like, give it a comment, tell me what you thought, tell me where I can improve on my uh, tutorial presenting skills, uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more tutorials, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys.